Welcome to this video with myself, Sarah Lean. I'm going to explain how you can create a Git Ignore file using Visual Studio Code. If you're new to Git versioning, then this is the video for you. So a Git Ignore file is a file that tells Git which files or directories that it can ignore. And this is useful for files or directories that you don't want a version, such as your temporary files or your configuration files. So let's dive into Visual Studio Code and I'll show you how to create one. So first of all, open Visual Studio Code and make sure your project is open. If you don't have Visual Studio Code installed, you can download it from code.visualstudio.com. Now you could manually create a gitignore file by typing touch.gitignore into the terminal and then manually adding information into it. However, that's not very efficient and it's also not great if you're new to working with Git or the type of coding project you're working on. So let's tidy up that file that I created and do it in a much more efficient way. So the way I create Git Ignore files is by using an extension within Visual Studio Code. So let me show you how to get that extension installed. So head on over to the extension panel and search for Git Ignore. Now you're going to get a lot of extensions to choose for here, but my personal favourite is the one from Code Zombie. So click on install for the extension and after a few seconds it will be installed. We now want to use the command palette to engage that extension. So you can do that by using view and then selecting command palette or you could use the keyboard shortcuts. So within the command palette type add git ignore and click on the option. The next question you need to answer is what type of git ignore file do you want to generate? And in this case, I want to create a Terraform one. So our Git Ignore file is now created. So if we go back to the file view, we can see that new Git Ignore file that's been created and we have a bunch of information in there and it's giving us those best practice files and directories that for Terraform should be ignored when we're version controlling this repository and project. And that's it, you've added a git ignore file to your project using Visual Studio Code. And this should help to keep your repository clean of any unwanted files that you don't want versioned. Thanks for tuning in folks. And if you like this video, hit that like button and consider subscribing and I'll catch you in another video. Happy coding folks.